Have you ever wondered if it matters where in the mesh you take the sample to measure the pH? I'm, my brew system, I circulate the wort, uh, I have a grain pipe in the middle, and I always took the sample from the pump, and that means that I'm taking the sample outside of the actual mesh, and I'm doing it like 15-20 minutes after I start the mesh. So does it matter if you take the sample in the mesh or outside of the mesh in the same container? Let's find out! I'm Dr. Hans and this is drhansbrewery.com, my channel about beer and home brewing. I'm just gonna go and get the samples. Okay guys, while the doctor are away collecting the samples, let me just tell you about my free new ebook and my website. So, the website is out, go and check it out, drhansbrewery.com, link in the description. And on my website there's a mailing list, and if you sign up on the mailing list on my website, you will get my ebook for free. I collected three of my best recipes, three extraordinary beers for you to brew at home, and I compacted it in a beautiful little format, so go and check that out. Oh, he's right. He, he, yeah. He's always interrupting. Always. Oh. Okay, so, uh, two samples here. They're both chilled to like room temp degrees. They have been standing outside because I want them to be exact the same. So this was collected from the, from the pump. So this is from the bottom of the, the kettle outside of the grain pipe and you see this one has actually grains in it so I just took the glass and chuck it into the mesh. This is my pH meter by the way. Like all the stuff I use I try to collect at my Amazon storefront so if you're in for a pH meter or something else go and check that out. Either go by the website like the doctor said or yeah link in the description. So here we have 5.8 and in the other one, no, nothing happens. 5.8, hope you can see that, 5.8, 18.4 degrees Celsius, back to this one. Okay, now this reads 5.7, but let's go back to the first one again. Now this says 5.6, maybe we're onto something here. This says 5.6 now. Okay, let's go back to the first one and see. Okay, maybe not the best video, I know, but uh, if you're a beer nerd, you, you, you get this, right? Okay, so now this says 5.7 also. So, let me see if we, we drop to 5.6 as well. 5.7 stops there. Back to the first one. We need to make sure. But, it actually dropped out of 5.6. So, yeah, 5.6. So. This little test shows that it actually do matters, but not much. So we, I took the sample like 50 minutes in, and this reads 5.6, and this reads 5.7. So I don't think it really, really matters that much, but there were a small difference there. If you're into experiments like this, I do have two other mesh experiment videos where I try to see if it matters to go over 60 minutes. So I did that with two different temperatures. One I mashed at a low temperature and one I mashed at a high temperature. So I'm going to link to them in the uh, description down below so you can go and check them out. So the conclusion, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. It seems that way. The experiment showed 0.1. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not convinced, but yeah, I did go back and forth and it was exactly the, the same temperature and I did get that small difference. So I guess now you know. So if you're into beer and home brewing and experimental brewing and uh, yes, let's learn new stuff about beer and brewing, consider becoming a subscriber, check out my website, of course, ring the bell here and the thumbs up the video and all of that. So guys, cheers and thanks for watching the Oktonsal.